the Profoto B1 and its Air Remote. Some days ago I got a question via YouTube how the A1 is working and how you have to set up it on camera so that you get proper shots. And the thing is it's not that easy and on the other hand it's easy. So what do I mean with this? If you start with the classical studio way and you shoot on, on manual mode, so the flash and the camera, everything is in manual, then you have to figure out the proper exposure in the beginning. And this could be a tedious work. But with the B1 and the Air Remote or with the A1, and actually the question was how I set it up the A1, but the A1 and the big brother, the B1, is more or less the same. And so I want to demonstrate it with my B1 and the Profoto Air Remote here on the uh, Sony camera. So it's important that you have the Air Remote, the TTLS for Sony, if you work with Sony. You have a C for Canon and the N for Nikon. And the first step you have to do is go in the, in the camera menu here in special with the, with the Sony camera. And the second one is to activate the Air Remote. And after you have activated it, you see that the camera is, or the flash of the camera is removed or is in, in sync when you have on the back the VL flash symbol. So you have a wireless flash. Uh, the standard behavior is that your flash is not in VL, in wireless. Then uh, on the other hand, it's in, in normal flash mode, I would say. And with this setting, your flash isn't working. So it's important that you set your camera from normal flash to WL, wireless flash, and now everything is in sync and everything is working. The second really nice step with the B1 and TTL or the A1 from Profoto is that you have to change or you can change the mode on your air remote from TTL to manual. And the first thing I always do now is that I start with TTL. So some guys may think, Martin, you are photographing in TTL with the flash. And the answer is yes, but just for the first shot. And the cool thing is with TTL through the lens, the camera and the flash is working together for a, yeah, let's say 80% right exposure. Profoto would say 100%, but no, it's 80% because there are some factors that should be or have to be calculated. For example, if I shoot something on a white table or on a white backdrop, then the camera sees, oh, it's light, so everything is white, and the flash exposure will be a little bit down, so it's a little bit darker. The other hand, it's also true, if you shoot something black, for example, a groom with its black uh, clothes and the face, the camera sees much black, and the camera thinks, oh, I have to expose a little bit higher, in special the flash, and so you get an overexposed face. What you can do if you work with TTL is that you go to your camera and you have a flash compensation dial over here. So not there, it's this one. And I can say, okay, I want to have minus two stops, for example, or I can even go up to plus one stop. And the rule is the following. If you have really much white in the image, the camera thinks, Okay, I have enough light, so I can underexpose the flash. So if you have much light in the face or in, uh, in, the, in, your, in your frame, then you go up one stop or one and a half one. If you have really much blacks in your frame, then the camera and the flash thinks, oh, it's dark, so I have to go up with the power of the flash and I overpower the image. So if it's, yeah, if there's much uh, blacks and you work with TTL, then you have to underexpose a little bit. So just as a reminder of how to work with TTL and with wireless TTL in special here when I work on the Profoto stuff. Okay, so what am I doing? Um, after I, I switch to TTL, I have my, uh, my speed actual dial in at 1 and the 60th of a second. Um, my F-stop is at 4, I will start at 7.1 for example and my ISO I will switch it or I boost it up to let's say 800 just for the sake of the fun. So totally random numbers and I will now 
take a picture of this little sucker. That's an, a vacuum screen cleaning device. Yeah. And place it here on my white table. And I have my, yeah, my flash is active. So I can start and switch on, switch off my modeling light. And just take an image of this one. And because I take the image in TTL mode, I have a proper exposure. So it's a little bit overexposed here. So I zoom in a little bit that you see it, may see it. So here it is. So it's a little bit light on the recording, but actually I would say, I will show you the histogram. It's a little bit too dark, but that's okay because that was just my starting point. So now when I have the first image shot in TTL mode, I switch to manual mode and I know, okay, the exposure was a little bit too dark with the TTL mode. So I go in and press 10 times on the plus icon on the energy so that the flash will go on and be uh, lighter. And now you see the histogram and the light is actually totally fine and actually there where I want to work. So I, I really open see that when I'm starting this TTL, I got an exposure that's really, yeah, tight, a tight fit, a little bit too dark, maybe a little bit too light. But when I switch from TTL to manual, then I can compensate for this and everything is fine. So a really nice point or a really, uh, a really uh, crucial point is to understand if you are in TTL mode, the flash, and the, the, the flash and the camera works in sync, so through the lens. And if you change the energy here in TTL mode, nothing is changing on the flash. Why is this? Because now you are syncing in groups, in TTL groups. You can bring the lighting of one group a little bit up, the lighting of the other group a little bit down. And this is what you can change here. You can change through the groups, you can change the, the, the proportions, but you actually don't change the power of the flash. So if I do TTL, so I will switch my, um, my values here from eight to two f-stop and the, yeah, I will crank up the ISO even more. I'm now at ISO 1600 and take an image on the flash. I'm in TTL mode on the air remote. So focus on the eye, take an image. And because I'm on ISO uh, 1600, it's too, too light. I can't bring down the flash. So I go down with the ISO to let's say 100. So a lot of stops in the other direction. Okay, Zuck. And now you see exactly the same as before. I'm a little bit on the dark side because I have the flash exposure in TTL not correctly set to uh, compensate the white table in the background. So what I'm doing is now I switch to manual mode because I have the, the shot roughly 80% right. Go in one, two stops brighter, now in manual mode on the flash. Um, to go in full stops, just press and hold the button and you will go in full stops. So I will go two up. Okay, focus, press the shutter check the image and now the two stops may be a little bit too much. So I will go down one stop and now it should be just okay. Yeah, that's cool. So that you will see or another thing. Um, so you see what TTL is capable of is the following. I will go over here and just change the direction of the, of the flash in a totally random and maybe not the convenient way ever, I just let the flash go over the ceiling. And if I now take the image, it would be somewhere. I really don't know. Just take an image. And now I see it's too dark. So what I would do is if I change the, the direction of the light, I will go to manual, uh, from manual to TTL mode through the lens. The flash figures out the, yeah, the right exposure more or less. 
As told before, I have really much uh, of a white background. So the flash thinks, oh, it's too light. So I don't need that much of a power boost. I switch to manual mode, go up one stop and take the image. And now it's okay. So more or less two images to have a proper exposure. First shot TTL mode to dial in the direction of the light, what you need. Second shot manual mode and yeah, just go for it after that. So just to see a totally different situation, hard light. So I will bring or put down the, the softbox and hopefully not the camera. Hard light from here. That's okay. First thing, TTL mode. As well as before, exposure a little bit down. Manual mode, go up one stop of the flash power focus, take the image and it's okay. Maybe a little bit too light in this case, but that's not that bad. Okay, so here's my image. Hopefully the camera will focus. Maybe, maybe not. I think I will link the images or I, I put the images into the video and cut them in. But that's everything you have to know. So start with TTL. Take one image. Correct in manual mode on the air remote with the plus and minus button on the um, air remote here. You can bring in the modeling light or switch it off. You can switch off or on the head. That's the head button. You have the groups and you have a test button. So this thing is just golden. I really love to work with it. Um, one thing to be caution of, um, take a extra spare battery with you, AAA batteries, um, just for the case that this thing runs out of battery, because then you don't have the, the power and the flexibility. So what I have to say, in conclusion, this sucker, this, B, this B1 from Profoto, and its smaller brother, the A1, this one here, are just beautiful and capable tools for the everyday professional life. So, if you like it, subscribe. I think I will do some more videos if you like them in English. And yeah, just let me know what you think and go on and become better. Thank you.